bat joke. That's right. Batgirl is the best bat joke. Hello, friends. We're here to talk a little bit about, as I may have covered in several other videos, the Batgirl casting, the Batgirl. We all know what happened. Eventually, HBO Max got taken over by David Zaslav in some videos we talked about here. And those many, many things were cut. But one of the funniest things that was cut <laughs> was Batgirl. And it looks like the star, Leslie Grace, has decided to grace us with some behind-the-scenes pictures that are just too delectable not to ridicule. So let's take a look here, and we'll go through a little bit of it and talk about... <laughs> what are we even... This is beyond me. What? <laughs> this is just how clueless some people are. I'm, I'm sure you're very proud of what you did, and I don't know anything about Leslie Grace. I'm sure she's a wonderful actress. No idea. Don't think I recall seeing her anything. But A, she posted an Instagram where she eats an awful lot of food, and B, taking pictures in your back girl outfit where you're eating food behind the scenes just doesn't seem that appetizing. But let's take a look at this sneak peek that we got here. It was, a, it was like a loop end of the year Instagram. We're not going to watch the whole thing because people have taken out some of the best things. <laughs> so we can just laugh at these. Um, yeah, it's this whole Instagram thing. Apparently there was a, it was like a $90 million plus budget. No, uh, clearly. And they're saying it was greenlit for 70 million. And, and ultimately it's going to just be a tax write off. And it's never going to get released. I remember there was a story about the directors being like, they shot some of it or they had some of it on an iPhone Dropbox or something. And they were looking to or like film everything that they had on their iPhones and they couldn't get to it in time because they took everything. And now, you know, maybe they'll be, get used for something else because they're under contract and they still all got paid. But uh, in our sneak preview, <laughs> this is just real bad cosplay. Let's take a look what we have here. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> like, look, I know it's probably, maybe it's not the finished costume, maybe it is, but this is, I've seen many cosplayers do much better than this. You know, maybe they'll CGI it up or it filmed better in certain, writing, in certain lighting. I don't know. All I can say is her head looks super wonky in this outfit. It just looks, why? Why? <laughs> How are you proud of this? You're like, look at my snap on wrist bracelets. I could totally eat all these cheese sticks. I mean, they might be Parmesan. What are they? Uh, deep fried uh, cheese sticks. This could be good with a little marinara sauce. I don't know. She clearly likes them. <laughs> um, what? Th this isn't the one with the most pictures, cause it, <laughs> cause they're calling. It's uh, it's a, it was a tragedy to cancel this. Uh, yeah, and here is here's a quote from Brendan Fraser, who's going to get a lot of of positivity. But it was connected to the Snyder verse, and they're clearly going to get rid of that too. Michael Keaton was going to be it as Batman. J.K. Simmons, I guess, was going to reprise uh, Commissioner Gordon. Brendan Fraser was supposed to play Firefly. Now, if you know anything about Firefly, oh yeah, yeah, and this is from the directors of Miss Marvel. Uh, I'm I'm gonna say like Miss Marvel was, I mean it was directed okay, but I mean it was so badly written. But let's get to some to some of the real good pictures here, where I'm just going, what is this decision? Who did this? <laughs> I mean, if I was David Zaslav and I saw this, I'd be like, okay, who do I need to fire? Because I'm ready to ax some people. What is Brendan Fraser wearing? That is the poorest attempt at some sort of like gimpy suit. Like what am I even looking at? This just doesn't work on any level at all. Not even as a bad cosplay. Like this is a professional studio did this? What? <laughs> this is 
just so pathetic. She's like a purple leather jacket with a bat symbol on it, huh? I, I mean, I don't know. The, the colors mismatch. Like, what is going on here? Uh, yeah, she's yelling at some people. We got that picture. Gidoki. Uh, her doing a wheelie on her little motorcycle. Yeah. We get this awesome, again, this this Brendan Fraser thing is just, I, I don't know that people fully understand that that's supposed to be Brendan Fraser under that costume. And he's supposed to be a serious villain. I guess serious, I mean, unless it was a comedy. I, maybe I'm wrong, I didn't know it was a comedy. I, I could be confused here, but I'm fairly certain it was not going to be a comedy. Again, we have the infamous her eating mozzarella sticks. Yes. Um, there was another, like, like you could see these, like, golden boots that she had on that looked real dumb. Yeah, like, here it is right here. Her in her little, like, golden booties. I mean, what? What, did, what do they do? I mean, it's one thing to have a comic book try to be comic book-ish accurate but this is just beyond bad cosplay i'm sure you could find like a hundred better cosplayers doing this same exact thing if not better like why you would even allow this to show up anywhere why would you show it off on instagram you're real proud of this you're this is my great costume i love it I don't know. I, maybe I'm overreacting. The worst offender, aside from the fact that her cowl, her back cowl, looks incredibly ridiculous. And it even looks dumb there. Like, this picture represents everything. The picture with Brendan Fraser in his fire, Firefly costume, it just says everything. She, her head looks dumb and huge because it can't hold her hair down. Like, it just doesn't make it... Like, whoever designed this costume is a clown. A clown. And then th this Brendan Fraser costume looks like unwieldy. I don't even understand like what it's even supposed to be. For those of you who don't know, Firefly obviously uses fire. So maybe it's like a fireproof outfit or something. But it just looks like real bad cosplay. Like real cheap, real bad. So I don't know. Tell me your thoughts below. Were you excited to see this? I would watch it to laugh at it. But at this point, I don't think anyone's ever going to get a hold of it. Would you watch it? Would you laugh at it? Or am I totally off base and I'm just a total maniac ranting for no good reason? Anyway, please like and subscribe. As you know, it always helps. We do appreciate it here. Uh, you can catch more of our videos. We have a live full-length uh, podcast that you could check out Friday nights at live streams here on YouTube. We're also on Rumble. You can catch us there. The uh, the show itself is also free to you on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify. It gets released every Sunday night as well. So please check all those out if you like what you heard here. We appreciate you listening. But as for myself, I am on to the next one. Uh -huh.